Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, make some changes to the building uh, menu or the radial menus. So to start off I'm just going to open up the building menu page 2 and in here you can see uh, we've got quite a few sort of gaps um, on our menu here. So I'm just going to select one of our empty ones and a good way to check just to make sure you've got the right one selected is uh, toggle the visibility. Um, so we've got that one selected. Now I'm just going to run through a few of the settings here. So you've got selected background and unselected. So that's just um, as you've probably seen when you've used the system. If you mouse over, it'll use this one, and if not, it'll use this one. A custom icon. So this will get used if you're um, not using um, the build part selection down here. So I'll explain that a little bit more in a second. Item icon rotation. Um, you're basically just going to want this to be the opposite of whatever your uh, render transform angle is. So you can see I've got 72 and then minus 72. Um, and that's just going to uh, rotate your um, icon so it's always not uh, going to look right, so it's going to be straight. Um, next you've got segment name and description. Again, those are only going to be used if you're not using the segment type build part. And then uh, for segment types, so if you select a build part, um, that's going to, when you mouse over and click over that segment, you're going to select whatever build part you've uh, chosen down here. So you can see I can um, choose the build part data, and then I can choose any uh, build part I want. So if I choose um, foundation stone, you can see it's actually come up with the foundation um, little icon here. And uh, if we tick enable, it will make sure it's not grayed. Um, you want to make sure this is enabled if you want to use a segment because if it's not, it won't highlight the item. And uh, yeah, so with the other segment types, it's pretty self explanatory. So upgrade, destroy, and repair. Um, it will just do this to any item that you're looking at. Um, do bear in mind that uh, you do have to be fairly close for these to work. Um, so yeah and then next page and previous page again pretty self-explanatory um, you can see we've got a, a previous page button here but say you filled up this circle when you needed another page you could just uh, create a um, next page and uh, um, this is where you'd want to set your uh, icon so if I choose enable Try and figure out what one I've got selected. There you go, you can actually see um, it's added the next page icon. And uh, if I were to select that now, nothing would happen. But um, if I go into the uh, graph view here and then the class defaults, you can see we've actually got a next page and previous page uh, classes here. So I could um, set my, for example, building page to uh, free and uh, we could move on to that next page um, and then again exactly the same for previous page add owner and clear owner very similar to um, upgrade destroy and repair it will do that for um, the build part you're looking at um, again you do have to be quite close and then you've just got none there which will blank out the slot um, like we have a few of these slots here so next I'm just going to show you how to change uh, what building menu will open up when you um, interact with or um, press Q on uh, a build type. So if I go build object and we'll use plot pole as an example. So in here we've got a few settings. Um, so we've got option menu uh, 1 and option menu 2 here. And so you can see we've got interaction menu and we have an option here as well re owner required to interact um, so when we press e while looking at this um, build uh, type um, the plot pole menu is going to come up which is our circular menu again it's the same class and um, so we've got it set so that you don't need to be an owner to open up that menu and then again very similar uh, building menu which is when you hold q down um, it will open up our building menu and you do need to be an owner for that. So that's just how you change what menus will open up when you um, interact with a different build type. So um, I hope this helped you guys out. 
Um, if you have any of the questions, um, feel free to leave a comment and uh, thanks for watching.